Introducing the Brahmari breathing, also known as skull shining breathing. Actually, one of my personal favorite breathing techniques. Quite amazing. The benefits of humming, right? Reverberating or what they call skull shining is really this buzzing feeling that we create throughout the sinuses and the back of the facial muscles. The way this technique was traditionally taught is by using a mudra, which is a certain finger position, right? And the mudra was almost like so. Um, the downward fingers would ensure that the mouth would remain closed. So they would sit at the bottom of the mouth and the ring finger would sit at the top of the lips, whereas the middle finger would go on the bridge of the nose and the index finger would close and seal the eyes and just apply a gentle light pressure there that remains stable throughout. Then with the thumbs, we close off the ears and the position is complete. However, if that feels unnatural, it can also be done with the index fingers on the ears and the thumbs on the eyes or the other way around with the index fingers on the eyes and the thumbs on the ears. Now we'll take about eight breaths or so together and this already will have quite a calming effect. We're extending the exhalation for as long as we can maintain without interrupting the flow. As soon as the flow starts to break up, that's okay. Take a nice deep slow breath in through the nose and take another long exhale with a steady flow. And what we do the moment we start exhaling, we create a gentle hum. It's an inwards humming sound. It's a mmm. And what you will find very quickly is not only is all your attention forced inwards because of the sensory deprivation that occurs, but the humming also reverberates. And of course, this is increasing the carbon dioxide in your system, which is a calming effect on the nerves. This is releasing 16 more times of nitric oxide than when we naturally do, which is opening up the airways. It is clearing out the sinuses. It is helping blood even flow into different parts of our brains, which is just fantastic. And the natural shutting off of the senses will also have a strong calming effect. We actually use the technique in, in free diving before we go into the water to make sure that we are as relaxed as we possibly can. So let's give it a try. Choose any of the hand positions that you feel comfortable with. And then we'll just take eight breaths together. So once you settle in, you press a gentle pressure on the ears and the eyes. You take a full breath in through the nose. And on the breath out, you hum. Mm -hmm. It's not about how long you can hum, it's just about can you maintain a steady flow and let each one build a little bit longer as you calm down and calm down and get that nerve response. So another breath in and a steady. Mm -hmm. Maybe each time can be a little bit longer as you breathe in deep and full through the nose and slowly exhale down even further and hum and hum, bringing all the attention inwards and inwards. And that's right, another big deep breath in. Mm. Find your own rhythm with it and breathe out. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Soft, steady, consistent. Very good, and one last one. Just a nice breath in through the nose. When you're ready, you can gently release the pressure. Bring your hands down, keep your eyes closed for a moment. Just feel that relaxation wash over you. And for me personally, I usually feel a bit of saliva building in my mouth. When I open my eyes, the colors are brighter. Sensation is back into my body and my awareness has grown.